Good morning everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome you all to this video. So this video is Solving Linear Equations Part 3. And in this video we're going to be learning how to solve linear equations with one variable on both sides of the equal to, with and without brackets. So as you can see right here, on the left hand side we have x which is a variable and on the right hand side we have the same variable x as we have it on the left hand side. So we can say that we have one variable on both sides of the equal to. So on either sides we have one variable with or without brackets. On the left hand side as you can see x plus 5 is in bracket and on the right hand side you see there's no bracket. So let's get started. Now before you jump into solving this equation you should know the meaning of like terms. What are like terms? Secondly, keep like terms on either sides of the equal to sign. By that, keep all variables like x, y, z on one side of the equal to, so that it is easier for you to find their value. Let's proceed. Let's talk a little bit more about like terms. What are like terms? Like terms are basically terms whose variable or variable with exponents are same. What does that mean? Let's see. Let me write like terms. So mm, let me write 2x. Let me write 3x and let me write 9x. So 2x is a term, 3x is a term, and 9x is a term. And we know terms whose variable are same are like terms. So as we can see, the variable is x, the variable is x, and the variable is x. So we can say 2x, 3x, and 9x are like terms. Right? What about 2y? What about 3y? What about 9y? They are also like terms because they carry the same variable, which is y, y, and y. Right, now let's write 2x square. Let's write 3x square. Keep in mind that this is not linear. Linear basically means when the power is less than 2. Nonlinear basically means when the power is more than 1. So this is a nonlinear term. Keep in mind, this is not linear. But still they are like terms. Why? Because the variable x in these both terms have the same exponent, 2 and 2. So we can say that they are like terms. Let's take a bunch of constants. Let's take 9, let's take 10, let's take 12, let's take 13, 14. All these terms are constants and they are like terms because they are numbers. There is no variable involved. They are independent numbers which are called constants in an equation. So now we know what is a like term, right? It is going to make a life so much easier when we learn or solve an equation with variables on either sides. How about we solve an equation for x? Now, as I said, know the meaning of like terms. As we can see, 10x, 5x, and 3x are terms, and they have the same variable, x, x, and x. So we can say 10x, 5x, and 3x are like terms. And constant like 50 and 20. They are also like terms because they are both are constants. So we can say 50 and 20 are like terms. One thing which you should keep in your mind is that if you want to find the value of x, if you are solving this equation for x, keep x on one side of the equal to. So let's bring 5x this side. So let's write 10x and as I taught you all in my last videos that if a positive value comes on other side of the equal to it's going to change to a negative value. So this will be minus 5x. What about plus 3x? So when plus 3x gets on this side, it is going to change its value to minus 3x. Now, all the like terms are together. So we can say like terms. Let's go on other side. Other side, we have minus 20. Now, if this minus 50 comes on this side, it is going to change its value to plus 50. If you guys don't know how to solve an equation, please do check out my last video because you have to know this. Because the stronger your basics are, the faster you do an equation. So, now what is 10x minus 5x? 10x minus 5x is basically 5x minus 3x equal to minus 20 plus 50 gives out 
30. So what is 5x minus 3x? 5x minus 3x is 2x equals 30. 2x means 2 multiplied x. Now keep in mind that you don't have to write this. I write this because I'm trying to explain everybody. So, But you don't have to write this step. So x equal 30 divided by 2. Why divided by 2? Because on the left hand side 2 is being multiplied by x. Now we cannot move x on the other side because we are trying to find out the value of x. So let's just keep x here and move 2 times on the other side. So as we know when times goes on the other side it changes to division. So x will be 15. Simple as that. It is very very similar to solving the simple linear equations with variable on one side. One additional step we do in this is keep like terms on either sides. That's all. Now let's do the big league. Now let's do an equation with one variable on both sides involving brackets. How do we do this one? Let's get started. 10 bracket x plus 5 bracket close equal 5 bracket open x minus 5 bracket close plus 10. So we have to find out x equals how much? Or what is the value of x? As I taught you in my last video how to solve equations involving brackets. So let me just um, summarize that all really quick. As we can see 10 bracket x plus 5. So what does that mean? That basically means 10 multiplied x plus 5. Now, if an operation is applied to a group of numbers or variables binded together by an operation within the bracket sign, the outside operation is applied to all the elements of the group. So we can say 10 times x. And there's a plus sign, so plus 10 times 5, which is equal to 10x plus 50. If you want to learn more about this, please go and check my other videos. So as we can see, 10 is going to be multiplied to x, and also 10 is going to be multiplied to 5. So let's write 10x plus 50. Okay, so how do we get 10x? basically 10 times x plus how do you get 50 10 multiply 5 now why do we have to multiply 10 to both x plus 5 because according to the distributive law of mathematics according to this law if any operation is applied to a group of numbers or variables added or subtracted together within a bracket that operation is to be applied to every element of the group like in our case we have x plus 5 so that multiplication will be applied to x and will also be applied to 5. In our case 10 is being multiplied to x and 10 is also being multiplied to 5 because x plus 5 are in bracket and they are together. Equals the same thing we will be doing on the right hand side. So we can say 5 times x which is 5x and 5 times minus 5 which is minus 25. We'll continue and write plus 10. Okay, perfect. Again, identify the like terms. So 10x, 5x are like terms. 50, 25, and 10 are like terms. So keep like terms on either side of the equal to. So let us just uh, shift 5x from the left hand side to the right hand side. So we can write 10x. If 5x jumps on this side, since it is positive on the right hand side, on the left hand side it is gonna change to negative 5x equal. Let's send this plus 50 on other side. So we can write the same equation minus 25 plus 10. Now when this 50 comes on this side of the equal to, it is gonna change to minus 50. Next step, 10x minus 5x is 5x. Now if you guys are wondering why 5x, let me break down. Okay, so 5 cakes minus 3 cakes. It's going to be equal to 2 cakes. 
same. 5x minus 3x is going to be 2x. Well, let's carry with our equation. So minus 25 minus 50 are basically minus 75 and the rest is plus 10. So we can say 5x equals minus 25 plus 10 is minus 65. 5x we can write as 5 multiply x. So in order to find out the value of x you have to send 5 multiply on other side of equal to. As we know the operation multiplication goes on other side it changes its value from multiplication to division. So it's going to be minus 65 divided by 5. Let me explain this a little bit. So minus 65 divided by plus 5. 5 or plus 5 is the same. Now keep that in mind that you are not just dividing 65 by 5, you are also dividing minus by plus. And minus divided by plus is always minus. So just write minus. 5 times 1 and 5 times 15. So minus 15. So the value of your x is minus 15. That's how we solve an equation with one variable on both sides involving brackets. So this is the end of this video, but before I finish my video, I just want to tell you the topic for my next video. In our next video, we'll be studying how to solve linear equations involving fractions. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye and take care.